And now I'm going to show you how I built it. So there we are, positive. So negative, negative, ESC to ESC, and then teed off. Positive, positive, teed off, and then spurred off with the FPV connector. It's done. So there's your. Put an XT60 onto that. Put a, a Nice 32 on there. But I've got these really small, tiny little 2mm bullet connectors, and I'll put those on each motor. That was a real fart, to be honest. And uh, make sure you give it enough, you know, a uh, little bit of slack on each of these because you crash and something breaks, you can tear it apart. You, you want a little bit of give in it. I've just put uh, one ESC onto the nose. So I'm going to hold this with my fourth hand and uh, the other two. Attempt to connect this up. That looks good. And the software that came on it, um, I plugged in the one channel for the receiver just to test it works. Basically on the receiver you've got on the top left to right is ground 5 volts, 1, 2, 3 and on the bottom 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 I think. Plugged in all the motors in accordance with the drawing and then I've just loaded it up, plugged it in, seen what's on it and it looks like it's okay. Um, showing that, I don't know if it's the latest version or what. Calibrated the accelerometers, which is why I've got the level on it both ways, and a bit of paper jacking it up so it's level. Um, so to do that, you just calibrate accelerometers, and that Z value wants to be at 512. Because I'm not using a CPPM receiver, I've got one. Just uh, hacking up some of these servo cables and making dedicated uh, signal only lines just took them out with a sharpie under the tab there pulled them out both friends and then each shrink the end so they can't touch just a little aside I found it useful to do a little drawing for the maze because I've never used one before um, basically RX which is a V8 FR2 it's a maze which is how they work the pins and then also the motor ESC so front left back left back right, front right, because when you're messing around taking the wires out you don't want to keep going around the same thing but now that ESC calibration has stabilised the motors all running at the same rate thingy on, throttle up that's my model there taking everything off the board just got the ESC to the receiver power and signal channel 1 on this if you're interested done that one so, so it's a bit tricky with one hand but basically throttles up plug it in get two beeps down within two seconds long beep start up sequence calibrated repeat for all no uh, ESCs tied up wire a bit it ain't great so I got the signal wires coming from all one ESC mounting the board and the receiver, I've just spaced out with some, uh, you know, you see that, some extra nuts like this on the standoffs. And I'm going to tie the receiver down underneath, and then a bit of ply I've cut, drilled, two face tape in the middle, not on the pins, so that gives it some isolation. So I've shortened the wires up, just cut them off a little bit so that they're tidy. Left a little bit of slack here so that it doesn't affect the board because the board is on a bit of foam which doesn't go all the way around which I might sort out later but for now there's enough slack that the wires shouldn't affect the board the board's solid and the wires are fairly tidy so scary bit I don't get it on the middle bit that's the clever bit but everything else busted it both sides I might in fact try and that's the back of it go around it as much as you can obviously don't cover up the connectors so let's see how this goes the Sony board cam that's it put some sulfane gel around it 
zip tied onto the uh, carbon fiber frame. Put a zip tie around the front to try and absorb. I'm going to make some sort of crash cage for it. Drinking straws for the antenna. Keep diversity. Diversity. Uh, camera runs out through there. Oh, I've got to tie this wiring up. Back to a boss cam. That's a 200 milliwatt uh, UK frequency one. Homemade antenna. So if you're like me and you do a rush job and you stick the board down, which is stuff from that hole at Simple Copter, which is really strong stuff and I don't really want to pull off the board. And then realised I want telemetry, I thought, where am I going to do that? So, fine solder tip. Pull a couple of the straight pins out of one of these rails. Bend them at 90 degrees. Wrap the wire around, solder it, heat shrink it, and then put it through the pin on the board for telemetry one at a time, and then that's why you need to find the solder tip, which is to get in there and get it to bridge and hold. So now we've got telemetry on that. The other thing I'm going to do when I've got it apart is run the, I've taken apart, <coughs> it was a, be found apparently a load of shit from Hobby King. I've, I've desoldered the buzzer. The buzzer is marked positive negative. And I'm just going to take a feed off of there, which is the battery, I think the middle one, battery connector. I've just got to look up the, the thing and then put that to cut the slack wires to the buzzer. And then another channel, assign that channel, show you how to do that. And then when it, if it gets lost, switch the switch, buzzer, find it. There you go. So testing the buzzer, if you don't want a, you want a 5 volt source or near enough, <clears throat> what I did was I duct taped three 1.5 cells together, a bit of wire from the bottom, um, and then, you know, you can figure it out. Because of... Uh, Room reduction, I've cut down the pins on that, so the middle two, and it was a fart to get them. Anyway, I've got uh, those two now connected up to the buzzer temporarily and the telemetry on. So, ladies and gentlemen, with cigarette in one hand, using the other two. It might it pains me to be a Philistine. It's two coats underneath up to the foam. I don't want to go to the foam. Uh, everything pins apart from the tops of the LEDs. The three very blurry things. Anyway, all oh, plastic dipped. That's right. That's dry, and I'm going to program the NVSD. What I've done, these wires here are telemetry in and out, oh, RX and TX. I'm going to take 5 volts off of one of these, not the one that's powering the board, another one, and then combine them. Despite all my savagery, she is with the ISD one. Calibrated running multi Wii ISD or M calibrated with the uh, multi Wii ISD GUI and you must remember to upload the fonts to the board. You must also remember to put the right mode on power or NSTC NTSC and you must remember to write to the board. Just go here. There's the link. There's a thread. Enough said. The guy's got it sorted. It's it's a lot easier than it used to be. OSD, which is a white spark. What OSD I'm now covered in plastic. It. I've got <coughs> the positive battery terminal and the red five volt pins. There she is, all plastic dipped and wired up and working. I uh, just got to figure out how to mount it in the frame. 